Hello, it's Tim from GuitarsNextDoor.com here, back with you guys with the second episode of this Real Guitar Talk series, and I'm kind of planning on doing maybe 30 episodes of these, and see like if you guys like this. And I got a couple of really nice comments in the first videos, and thank you for those. Like, you guys are the reason why I do these videos, because I really hope that I can share some things with you guys that will really help you. And I have turned the ads off from this series, and if you find value from this, then please, just share this. Share this to your friend and say, hey, this was helpful, check this out, that would be awesome. But if you don't find any value from this, then don't share this. It's the, in my opinion, this is a fair deal. Yes. And today I want to talk about a huge lie that I have believed in, and most people believe in, and at least it's clear from their lives that they believe in this, and it is this. Most people think that they just, when they arrive to some place, or arrive to some goal, that's it, then they can relax. This idea of, of you being ready and done, and now it's time to just chill. For example, people like getting a job and then completely stopping improving and learning and just getting a paycheck for 40 years. And this is a huge mistake, because in reality you either grow or you die. This is true in business, in personal development, relationships, fitness, and in guitar playing as well. If you are not improving your skills, skill set, those are decreasing. There is no middle ground. There is no middle ground where you are just are. You are just ready. You are done. You have probably seen, and you might have some guitarist, fam famous guitarist in mind, that you can pretty clearly see that they have not improved, really, in years. Of course, I'm not the smartest guy, I could be wrong about some of these, but still, in my opinion, there are some guitarists that are really famous that have not improved, really, in years. Yeah, maybe you agree, I'm not going to name any names, that's not like wise in my opinion, but still, there are some. And the reality with this and the reason why this is so dangerous is that if you are not improving all the time and growing, there will be a time where you are just like, what happened? Why, like, why everything is falling apart? Why I lost my job? Why I'm so bad at playing guitar? And the reason for all this usually is that you stopped improving your skills. For example, my own guitar playing journey. There have been a time where I think thought that I was like, kind of a good enough, and really, of course, I was, was not. I was still terrible. But I started skipping practice. Yeah, I could play that one solo that I was like dreaming about playing, but after that, I didn't set a new goal, and I was just like, yeah, 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 this is good. But after a while, I reaped what I sowed. I was bad, and I really struggled, and no confidence in playing, felt really clumsy, and it looked very clumsy as well. So, if you start skipping practice now, realize that, that in the near future there will be trouble with guitar playing or with any other skill you are developing or, for example, your career as well. If you stop improving now, then there is trouble ahead. And in work environment, if you are not improving every day, someone else is. And soon, there's a high chance that you 
do not have a job. That's that's just the reality. There's always a competition that is improving. Yeah. So let's keep this in mind and just let's take steps forward every single day. Improve every single day. Most people are not going to do this, but if you are doing this, that's a huge competitive advance for you. So let's do this. Let's do this together. Take steps forward every single day. Hopefully you got value out of this. Leave your comments down below. And if you found that value from this, then please share this. And now, thank you for watching. Really, thank you. Thank you. And take good care of yourself and your loved ones. And hopefully I will see you again soon.